here is an inverter test of the so you can see here is the inverter right here here is the inverter so you can see the the little percent is 0, 0.00 and here is the clamp meter from the from the water system so right here i've clamped it it is um there's no load on this inverter right now so it's, it's just reading um sorry it's just reading um zero point uh, that is one amps 1.8 amps normally there's no load so let's go forward to test our transformer so before then kindly permit me i am a one hand cameraman so I'll just place the camera right here while I plug it on load. While I plug, it. just give me some few seconds while I plug the transformer. As you can see, the the transformer is being plugged right now. So let's take a good look at the amps. I've not plugged anything to the transformer yet. Let's check how many amps it is consuming. 4.2 amps so you minus the 1.8 with um, 4.2 so this is when the um, transformer is on it does not carry any load yet so let's use it to power this electric motor right here You still forgive me let me connect it let me connect the the electric motor to the power supply because i'm a one-hand cameraman there's nobody to camera for me so uh, this is the other face of the transformer so let's let's put it on the so let's power it now sorry so it is currently spinning right here. So let's check the amperage. It is spinning. It is still 4.8, 4.9 while spinning it. 4.8. Let's check the percentage. Let's check the percentage. To see how many percent. We'll check the amps, but let's check the percentage. Let's check the percentage. Okay, 9.2%. So as you can see, it's consuming from the battery. So there's no power grid anywhere. It's from the inverter. So it's powering this electric motor. Now let us short circuit this transformer. I want to short circuit it. I want to short circuit it. Let's check how many amperage it is consuming. If I short circuit this transformer, that is, I want to bridge them together. So this is the bridging point. I bridge it. Okay, coming. My camera is not stable. My hands are not stable. That is why. Let me bridge it. Sorry for that. I'm so sorry. Let me bridge them together before. Excuse me. I'm sorry, I'm a one-hand cameraman, just like I've told you. I'm not a perfect cameraman. Whoa! So I've bridged it. I've bridged it right here. So let's check the bridging. As you can see, I bridge it, and it is consuming just 3.1 on bridging. I bridge it together, and it's even consuming lower. Let's check the percentage of the bridging while I bridge it. Sorry. Let's check it. Let's check the percentage. 
4.3 when I bridge it together. When I bridge it together. When I short circuit it, let me remove it from the short circuit. You hear the sound. You see? I've removed it. So let's power this electric motor. Once we power this electric motor, we can force it. You can put any load you want to put and it will not affect you can short circuit it and it will not affect the electric motor is currently working so this is it 4.8 amps when carrying this little guy here this is a 200 amps this is also a 12 volt battery 12 volt battery and this is what it is consuming 4.8 4.8 amps you can see why spinning this this is a battery amps 4.8 amps so even though i try to force it to stop even though i try to force it to stop let us check at the amps quickly you can see 5.1 just only 5 amps just only 5 amps when I when I try to to pressurize it that is I'm trying to let's, put, let's quickly go and check the amperage it is consuming so you can see 5.2 amps so right here you can apply any load so the maximum the maximum any anything you are doing here can work is around 5.2 amps or 5 amps can use it to power anything you want to power just only 5 amps from a battery so from here you can use it to do anything you want to do you can use it to charge batteries to do anything you can see the electric motor currently spinning right here and it is from a 220 supply it's from a 220 supply you can short circuit it it has nothing to affect the camera um, it has nothing to do with this transformer so here this is a free energy transformer whereby even though you short circuit it it has nothing to do it's it's uh, the magnetic flux does not affect the primary coil so that is how this transformer functions it's a free energy transformer you can use it to do anything so if you wish to support me in this project wish to support me please dm me and um if you want partnership if you want to make something like this if you want to go for the training um on the free energy systems you can please dm me I just did a test on a battery right now because most people are saying that um, the AC system is somehow you can't really read it well so I've taken a good amperage test for you now on the battery that is a 12 volt battery from an inverter right there so thank you very much for watching my video God bless you see you next other time my viewers and make sure to please subscribe to this video and share this video to people thank you